Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to drive spiral roundabouts easily. They're also known as gyratory roundabouts and I'm going to be showing you two different examples both of which have some funny things happening on them and I'll be using the mouse cursor on the screen like this to show you the lanes. So this roundabout we're coming to first of all is in Exeter. So this is not one I'm familiar with because this is quite a way from where I live. So we're coming up to Exeter services. Now it all comes down to one thing and that is to simply keep as far left as you can at all times. And I'll say that as I'm just going left there. So it says services. Really you can sum these roundabouts up in two words. Keep left. People make this so complicated and I've trained hundreds, maybe thousands of driving instructors and I see them getting into such a mess trying to teach this and they're getting out diagrams and drone footage and all this sat nav images. You're making it too complicated. I'm going to pause the video and let's have a look at how easy it can be. So we're going to the services and I'm sorry the video quality is not quite as good as always on this sign. It was a really hot day, I think, when I filmed this, and it was kind of blurry on the screen or whatever. I don't know. But normally it looks better than this. But we're going to services. Now, the funny thing about this roundabout is, unfortunately, <laughs> it also goes to a place called Soton. And you'll see why that's a problem in a moment. But we're going to services. So the first piece of information you can get from this is that it's to the right. Imagine it's a clock face of 12, 3, 6 and nine, we're going to three o'clock. So we know if we're going to three o'clock, it probably won't be the left lane. There are some where that does go all the way around, but those are extremely rare. And on a roundabout this size, that won't be the case. So let's run the video forward. I remember what I said about keeping as far left as you can. So we look at the sign here, which in real life you can see from back here, begin with the camera. The camera's not quite as good as a human eye. So it says services. But this is one mistake people make. Let's pretend that lane isn't there just for now. Let's imagine there are three. I would say probably one of the most common mistakes I've seen experienced drivers make and new drivers make is this. They all think I'm going ahead so it's the middle lane. And they just go ahead, middle lane, that's it, done it. Wrong. Remember what we said earlier. You always, always, always start looking at the leftmost lane. So this is the way you do gyratory roundabouts easily. You look at the left. Does that go the way I want to go? No. Look at the next one. Does this one go the way I want to go? No. Does this one? Yes. So you keep as far left as you can. So imagine this one wasn't there. Imagine there were just these one, two, three. This one goes ahead. Now, we're not bothered about where it actually goes in this example. Let's just say that these two lanes both go ahead. If you come up to a roundabout where the left and the middle go ahead and you go straight to the middle, not necessarily wrong because that one may go the same way, but that's the overtaking lane. This is the one you actually wanted. You keep as far left as you can. And the way you do this is you always, always, always go from left. To right. Do you think, does this one go where I want to go? No. Does this one? Yes. So that's the one you want. Where people go wrong is they just look at it and think, oh, is it that one? Is it that one? Is it this one? Is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? What you need to do is look left to right. And the first one that goes the way you want to go is for you. Now, we'll all play this video through normally in a moment, but I'm going to do it like this just for now to show you. So it says services, and unfortunately, it also says ston, which can look like service station. But this isn't station, this is Soton, the place we spoke about earlier. That's why it's unfortunate, because <laughs> it looks like it's saying service station, but it's services and Soton, a different place. These don't go to the services. So let's just say that one did and you were in this lane, it's not wrong, but remember you want the one as far left as you can. So let's play the video forwards. As we go around, you'll see here, again, 
it says services. I know you can't see that well in this video, but it says services there in the right hand lane. And on the floor, it also says serve. So all you've got to do now is simply stick to the lane and you follow the lane. The common mistake I've seen in over 20 years of teaching people to drive, I've taught over a thousand people, is people don't look at this. They're so busy looking here and they're just swerving left, right, going all over the place, as you'll see soon. <laughs> and they're just not looking at the floor. Look at the floor. Serve. That's what we want. Ignore this. Serve. So we follow serve. Serve. Ignore this. Look at it. But yeah, it doesn't say serve, so that's not for us. Serve. So look at it, but don't stare at it. So we have a look at this. I'm looking at that one. Does that go to the services? No. So I'll go for this one. I'm keeping as far left as I can. Services. Services. It says services there. I know you can't read it that well on the video, maybe. Now you can. You can see. Services. So we go around. And at this point, what's going to come in now is what we said earlier about it being on the right, which we saw here on this sign. We know that the road is on the right. Now, don't worry about counting the exits. If you can, great. But sometimes with these like stumps here, it can be hard to think, well, is that a road? Sometimes it can be, sometimes it's not. So just think, okay, it's on the right. So we know that if we've gone as far around as this, and we go around and around and around, we know that soon we are going to have to start moving over. Because you're not going to go around and around in the right all the time, otherwise you never come off. You'd be going around and around. So we know we're getting closer to our exit. So the closer to it you get in, the more round the roundabout you've been. And this was the 12 o'clock there. So we've come from here. We've gone past the first exit on the left. We've gone past the second exit ahead. We know that if we're going on exit 3, 4, 5, we're going to have to start moving over soon because otherwise we're going to go past it. So we're coming around. There's exit 3. So we know that we're going to have to start moving soon. And these signs you can't see here on the camera, in the video, but you can in real life. And that there is saying services. So I start to move that lane. And notice, people say, well, it's confusing, the lanes keep changing. They're not changing at all. You're following the line. Notice this white line. We're following the line. This one's different. Don't follow that. You'll end up in the roundabout. Because <laughs> that's what he's coming from this way. We're following this white line. I'm just keeping the white line on the left. And I go, services. And then we're looking again here. And you can see it's saying services there. Again, you can't see on the screen. You can see in real life services, lane three. We follow the lane. Don't swerve over there. Don't swerve over there. Follow between the white lines like that. And there you go. We're at the services. And then you simply go right on this one. Services. It says ahead. That can be a bit confusing. It's quite a modern way to do this. They put an up arrow for everywhere. Even if it's actually right. They put it as ahead. But think about what the word ahead means. Ahead is anywhere ahead of you. But if you're driving, you're always going ahead really. Because you go in ahead so it's a bit of a strange way of doing it but that's how it's done and then you go right and you're there so let's now play the video from here so we come up to the roundabout and i'm just going to let it play at normal speed and i'll be giving you commentary as you go around notice i'm rolling up to the lights not stopping dead that helps you save a bit of fuel and it's just that's an advanced driving technique you don't just stop dead but we're not bothered about that for now we're coming up here we're going right to the services, following serve, serve, follow serve. I'm looking at the floor, serve, does this say serve? No, that's not what I want. Watch out for the car signaling right, serve, following serve, not following the line here, following serve. Yes, you follow the line, but you have to be careful not to follow into a different lane. Serve, lights are on green, checking my mirrors. Now the line moves and the lane's gone and we're in lane three going to services and i'm not saying this is easy all the time this is not easy sometimes this can be complicated with the lights and not knowing where you are but all i've done is follow serve and here we are again serve we're just following the serve now if you get it wrong can you change lanes 
Well, you are allowed to legally, but you've got to be careful. Notice this white car was signaling right. So are they going to change lanes or are they just going round? You don't have to always indicate. You know, it's a lot of people are not signaling. You don't strictly have to on these because sometimes the signal will actually create confusion. This car, if they're signaling right, you think, well, are they going around or are they change the lanes? It can be confusing. So if you do indicate, you've got to decide would it benefit someone without confusing anyone. Notice how people just aren't signaling. It's often better not to on these. If this car signals left now, it could mean they're coming off, it could mean they're trying to change lanes. So it's confusing sometimes to indicate. You've got to make that choice as you go. But let's go and have a look at another roundabout now where something goes quite wrong. So here we are coming up to Stratford upon Avon, which is famous for being the home of Shakespeare. As you can see from here, Shakespeare Stratford. And it's also where the great TV show. Uh, Shakespeare and Hathaway is filmed, if you're a fan of that show. So anyway, here we go, and we're coming off here, and it's the same principle. It's simple, we're just going to keep as far left as we can, but not quite as far left as somebody keeps <laughs> on this roundabout. So here we go. Now, I do know this one, but I haven't been here for quite a while. So Stratford, again, like the other one, it's at three o'clock. So this would not be the left lane, very unlikely, because... As you can see, there's a bit of road there that goes off to the left. It's highly unlikely you go all the way around in the left lane on the roundabout like this because it just wouldn't normally work like that. But there are some where you can go right from the far left lane. If it does, you will see an arrow on the floor like that pointing right in the left lane. So we know again it's 3 o'clock direction, 12, 3, 6, 9 like o'clock face. So that's 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. We're going to 3 o'clock. So let's go around. It does help if you know the exit number, but you don't have to. So in this case, it's exit one, two, three, four. We don't count these stumpy lines. Now sometimes they can count. Whether that's because the sign's wrong or whatever is not always clear, but sometimes you can go off some of these. But we want exit one, two, three, four. So we come up to the roundabout, and again, here on the floor, it says all routes. So we find there, because all routes is everywhere, we go in here, and it's Stratford. So we're going Strat, Stratford, not Sirencester, not Coventry, not Warwick, Stratford. So we come up to the lights, and again, I'll play this through at normal speed in a bit, but let's just run through a bit for now. So we come up to the lights. On this occasion, we stopped, because you can't always roll up. You have to sometimes stop. That car signaling... I've been using something called profiling on that car. I won't go into that now, but profiling this van, whatever, may have the wrong lane. I'm not going to say much about this for now, but that car had been driving a bit um, hesitantly on the motorway, so you kind of think, well, there might be a bit hesitant here. Notice how the van got the lanes wrong as it were. They moved over. Is it illegal to move over? No. You can change lanes if needed. You don't want to, but sometimes you have to. And what we said about keep as far left as you can applies here. Watch this. You see how I'm staying in this lane? Yes, I'm going right, but I did not go into that lane. That would be for if you wanted to do U-turn and go back on the motorway I just came from. So I'm staying in my lane. Notice the lines. I'm not crossing the line. Generally, but not always, if you cross the line, then you've got it wrong. Look at this car crossing the line. Not illegal or anything, but car, van, whatever you want to call it, vehicle. Generally speaking, if you get it correct, you don't move to the right and you don't cross the line at all. But each one of these roundabouts is different, which is why, although I say how to drive them easily, you have to bear in mind, I've been driving, I don't know, what, 25 years or more. So I've got a lot of experience. I worked out once I've done, I think, over a quarter of a million miles, probably way more than that. I've probably actually over half a million. So I've done a quarter of a million with learners and I've done over half a million miles on my own. But just doing something for a long, for a long time does not mean you're doing it correctly, as you'll see in a moment. So again, Stratford, here we go. Two lanes go to Stratford. So I could go to that one. It wouldn't be wrong, but I want this one. So I'll stay in this lane. Now this is where something goes very, very wrong. So we're coming around, I'm staying in my lane, 
and again it's saying here Stratford lanes two and three so lanes two or three either one's fine but as we go around here is a great example of why you must be checking your mirrors thoroughly if I hadn't checked my mirror here on the left hand side of my car what you call the near side mirror near side is this one near the curb offside is the right away from the curb off away from the curb so I'm checking my near side mirror watch how I avoid a crash so here we go watch what happens very bad lane discipline from that car I mean look they were heading for the motorway and if I hadn't been checking and seen them and I started slowing down about here you notice I start braking slowing down I saw them coming I hadn't seen that coming if I'd have been just driving without checking my mirrors busy looking at the sign accelerating smash you do have to be careful on these so Stratford two left lanes so this one or that one this car has got it totally wrong because this is what we said earlier <laughs> if they were in the left lane watch what they do bear in mind here they're in the far left lane okay so they're in this lane watch where they end up going when you forward a bit watch where the silver car goes from the left then move right to the left then move right again keep watching where they're going and they go right again they got that seriously wrong to be going there and to be in the left lane back here completely wrong but anyway they've done their thing and we've done ours so here we are again in the left hand lane and we're going around now if you're in the left lane we know that we're going to come off normally here but you don't have to because if you look at the lane markings you can follow around see there you can go off or go around nothing wrong with that Stratford again notice I didn't cross a line I'm not crossing a line here if it's dotted you can but I'm not crossing a line so you can go that way or this way I'm in the left hand lane Strat and off we go now this can be confusing this thing here people have asked me this over the years I say well I can't go left I want to go left and go off there but I can't no left turn means here it means don't go there and turn left and be going swimming upstream against the traffic you can't go left there it doesn't mean you can't come off here so the lights change off we go and that's it we go up here and then we're off and similar sort of thing here we just go left to left nothing really to show you there so let's go back and watch it at normal speed so I'll do it from back here so we're coming up all routes Stratford go on the right hand lane three o'clock fourth exit so I'm following Strat I'm considering rolling up to the lights but it won't work on this occasion again this just saves you a little bit of fuel shows you planning ahead if you get people who just stop dead see these people all sitting on the brake lights bad practice most people do this is bad practice to sit on your brake lights in most situations but not all Something that I've seen a lot of instructors do this. A lot of instructors teach people to sit on the brake. Very bad habit. But that's changing now. We're getting into things like electric cars. But that's for a different video. So we're going right. So we come up in this lane. They're changing. Be aware of that. We're looking for Strat. So we're simply looking at the sign which is hidden by a bush. <laughs> Stratford, lanes three or four. So I'm in lane three or four. I could be in that one that's for if you want to overtake let's say if I was in a rush or whatever this car had a flat tire or whatever I could go around them so there is always sometimes not always but there is sometimes another lane you can take and all I'm doing is staying in my lane checking that one checking my near side mirror because we know that silver car is going to cut us up in a moment wouldn't it be nice if you could drive knowing what was about to happen <laughs> so people don't realize when they watch these videos they say you should have done this you should have done that in real life you can't run the video back so there we go you can't just think oh that went wrong crash I know I'm one of these people on YouTube who knows everything I'm going to rewind time I'm going to break yeah I'm perfect you can't go back in time in real life unless you do one of my hypnosis sessions quick plug for my hypnotherapy work there <laughs> so if you want to do a regression you can go back in time in your mind then so we stay in the left lane and then that's it we're just coming off in the left lane sometimes what makes me laugh on driving lessons is 
when you're in a situation and sometimes you're in a situation like this where people say um, where are we going now in this one you can go past this one and go around because it said on the floor it said Strat just back here so it tells you you can go to Stratford upon Avon which I recommend you go there it's a great place to visit a beautiful place to go on a summer's day and great to Christmas too with the markets but you can go to Stratford because you said on the floor Strat but sometimes people say here where are we going well it says Strat on the floor there you've got no choice you can't go here like the silver car did if you go over there you're going to be going over all these lanes smashing into people generally you can't move no you can't you shouldn't move right on the roundabout generally if you're moving over like that generally you've got it wrong but not always because you can as the white car did so there you go so i hope that helped you it is quite simple you simply keep as far left as you can at all times and stay in your lane i know i've been talking a lot there and giving you as much help and information as i can but it is quite simple some of them are difficult don't get me wrong do i ever get them wrong yes do i make mistakes yes am i the perfect driver no is anyone no are automatic cars perfect to driving certainly not right there is no perfection in the world of driving but if you apply these rules you will be as safe as you can possibly be and practice 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 check out these other videos on the screen from my hob with your driving and overcoming a fear of driving thanks for watching and as always i'll see you again soon for more videos